business owners, they're in that scaling up mode. What, what are some of the things that they really need to be concerned about with some of the new tax strategies, the changes that have come up? What are some of the new, um, from what you've seen this year, what are some of the things that you think business owners who are, you know, in, in a, they're, they're in that scaling up mode. What, what are some of the things that they really need to be concerned about with some of the new tax strategies, the changes that have come up for this year? What are some of your top? Well, that's kind of the interesting thing. We spent so much time last year kind of preparing for kind of a lot of disruption. Um, and you think about everything. I know you have a number of uh, individuals that work with you. They, they may have self-directed IRAs, for example. And uh, we were expecting a, kind of a lot of disruption in those rules. Mm -hmm. uh, we were we were expecting uh, some some major changes as it relates to the uh, to the tax laws. And guess what? None of it happened. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, kind of this whole uh, kind of all these uh, these ideas um, that were put out there uh, by the administration and um, uh, they, they essentially failed. And I think that's probably a good thing for the most part. Um, that uh, that they did, uh, and not making a political statement here at all. Um, we can if we want to go there, but we may we may, <laughs> we may lose some uh, lose some of your audience. But that's okay. uh, but from a, from a pure from a pure business end, um, it is always generally best for business uh, that um, the government kind of keeps their hands out of things, especially mm -hmm. when uh, you know when you're looking at a situation when you're raising taxes, when you're doing those types of uh, which is essentially what this was going to do uh, for 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 most business owners. Um, so I'm kind of leaving the whole individual side out of it. But for most business owners, we were all going to be impacted by it in a material way in some form or fashion, uh, whether it's going to be in our retirement portfolios or whether it was going to be in our active business. Um, it was going to be a situation to where we're just going to add one more uh, hurdle into what we're already dealing with um, inside of our businesses. So fortunately, as of right now, we're kind of still continuing to deal with the, with the status quo. Uh, and we're still uh, kind of dealing with the um, uh, with kind of all of those tax benefits that were put in place uh, under the prior administration with the tax cut job tax cut jobs act and, and so forth uh, that we're able to take uh, take advantage of. And you know we can give a lot of thanks to um, uh, God, of course, but um, Jeff Watson, John Heyer, uh, Quincy Long, pe people that are in our network that really. Um, just used a megaphone, letting everybody know what was going on and giving us steps one, two, and three, what we needed to do to, to band together and, yep. and fight this. So, you know, thank God for our network that we have and, and, uh, um, how organized it is to be able to, to really make a change. I mean, that was a, um, I, I think a, a great item of success for us to look on and say, Hey, you know what, we can make a difference when we band together. Um, to try to make those changes. It definitely worked. Yeah, yeah definitely. It's a wonderful group of individuals who really did a wonderful job of putting a lot of uh, good information out there, making people aware um, to uh, as far as what truly was going on instead of just listening to either what the politicians were saying or what the what the media was saying in regards to this. But how, this, how is this truly going to impact you? Uh, how is this going to impact your business? How is this going to impact your retirement? Mm -hmm.